Smash the Smoke. Stay in your homes, I repeat. Stay in your homes. Your personal safety, the safety of the entire city, depends upon your full cooperation with the military authorities. We may be witnesses to a biblical prophecy come true, and thus will be destruction and darkness come up in creation, and the trash will reign over the earth. Here is a fear-frenzied moment of suspense as mankind totters before a thing that multiplies faster than it can be killed. Suspense that will clutch you like quicksand. <coughs> pulling you down into bottomless depths of suffocating horror. Spreading <coughs> 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 panic across the continent. Gripping beyond compare. You may wish to deny it, but your eyes tell you it's true. A tale to stun the mind. Oh yes, that's right. Garbo, this is back. So hello folks, I'm Alex. Welcome or welcome back to the channel if that is the case. Yes, Garb August is back. Yay! <laughs> uh, August sees the return of the trashiest reading event on Booktube, of course. Uh, a month-long celebration of reading trashy literature. Um, trashy, of course, does not mean bad. It is not a derogatory label. It is used with a deep affection for all of those books that are pure fun, pure escapism. Uh, they are easy to read, they might be tie-ins to other media, other franchises, things like that. They might have been written to cash in on something that's popular. Um, they can be fantastic, highly enjoyable reads. And for Garb August, we'll be burying ourselves uh, in all that trashy goodness uh, for an entire month. Uh, so I do hope that you will join us. Uh, and by us, of course, I mean all the various fabulous co-hosts. Uh, for the event, led, of course, by Trashmeister General Ollie over at Criminolly, uh, or should I say Screaming Creamin Ollie, uh, seeing as we all take rude names for our channels uh, for this event. Uh, mine stays the same as last year, which is Al Licks Under a Bridge, so thanks to Ollie for that one. <laughs> Uh, I won't read them all out because we'll be here forever, uh, but I will post everybody's name and links to their channels for the co-hosts. Uh, for your amusement uh, and so that you can go and check out their awesome content too because I think there'll be a lot of different stuff coming out of, of people's channels uh, in the run-up to Garb August. Uh, hosts also will have recommendations this year uh, which will be released as we as we get further to closer to the event uh, which will be a book uh, recommendation and a movie recommendation from each host. Uh, my recommendations are uh, Psychic Teenage Bloodbath by Carl John Lee um, for the book recommendation, a bit of rather ridiculous but very fun extreme horror. Um, and for my movie recommendation, I'm going with Rampage <laughs> uh, with Dwayne Johnson. Um, I love that movie, it's redonkulous. Based on a video game as well, so how much more trashy can you get? Um, so yes, yeah, so there we go, those are my recs. Okay then, so 2024 is the third year of Garb August, and this year sees Garb August go 3D. So in the past years, we've had two dimensions to the event. So that's the weekly prompts and the bingo card. Uh, and this year, a third dimension is added, and that is decades. Um, we're adding movies into the mix as well. So 3D movies are obviously the trashiest kind that there are really. They are gimmicky and fun and designed to draw in the crowds, but there are plenty of 2D trashy movies out there too. <laughs> you know, Rampage being just one. Um, so for the bingo card this year, you can cross off a square by watching a trashy movie for the prompt instead of reading a book, should you so wish. 
Um, so let's have a little look at the prompts, etc. Um, all of the prompts, by the way, are completely optional. All you have to do to participate in Garb August is read one trashy book. That's it. If that's all you want to do, that's great. And you are most welcome. But if you want to go full on trash, which I will be trying to do quite a lot of, um, then we've got you covered. We've got plenty of things <laughs> to keep you in in the trash pile for the entire month of, of, of August. So first up then, the weekly prompts. Um, so week one, which is the 1st to the 10th of August, so slightly more than a week, um, this is just anything goes, literally anything, as long as it's trashy. Uh, and you get to determine what's trashy. Um, so this will just help you get into you know, the trashy frame of mind. Um, so pick whatever you like. Um, week two then, which is the 11th to the 17th of August, uh, is category romance or men's adventure. So category romance, things like Mills and Boone, Harlequin, anything like that. There's also a lot of modern uh, uh, sort of self-published stuff that could fit into that as well on say Kindle Unlimited, things like that. And men's adventure, um, Things like the Executioner series, that's a good example. But again, there's lots of modern stuff there as well. Basically anything with manly men doing manly things, running around with guns, taking on the mafia as a one man army, all that kind of good stuff. Um, week three then is the 18th to the 24th of August. Uh, and this is sex and or violence. Could encompass a lot. It could be smutty books, it could be some paperbacks from hell, kind of sort of 70s, 80s, 90s, trashy horror. Uh, there'll be plenty of gore and violence in those. Um, so yeah, there's that, that, that'll cover you for a lot of trash, <laughs> sex and or violence. Um, and week four then is the 25th to the 31st of August, uh, and that is novelizations or tie-ins. Uh, or a book that was turned into a 70s or 80s TV miniseries. Quite a niche one there. Uh, so yeah, novelizations, tie-ins, exactly what you'd expect. Novelizations of films, games, whatever, uh, TV shows. Books that were turned into a 70s or 80s TV miniseries. I don't know a huge amount about those. The ones that I can think of are something like Jilly Cooper's stuff, like Riders, things like that, where you've got a, quite a trashy book that was turned into quite a trashy miniseries. Um, so yes, yeah, so those are your weekly prompts. Um, myself and the other co-hosts will be doing videos with a bit more information about, with some examples of things like that in, in those categories, stuff like that. If you're looking for any kind of guidance or, you know, suggestions, etc., uh, on what to read for those categories, then someone amongst the various co-hosts will absolutely have you covered. So the bingo card then. Uh, Got a brand new bingo card for this year. Plenty of stuff on there that is easy enough to get. Uh, and some other ones that will give you a little bit of a, a challenge, I think. Uh, potentially something like more than two guns on the cover. Uh, 3D movie or step back cover. I found the step back cover quite difficult last year. I didn't manage to get that one. Um, and then, you know, plenty of, plenty of stuff, as I say, that you'll be able to kind of find something for easily enough. Killer animals, plenty of stuff out there. Gangs, cults, ninjas, kinky sex, I'm sure there's plenty of stuff out there for that. Sexy vampires, uh, long running series, like something like The Executioner, there's an absolute ton of that. The same would go for movies with that, something where you kind of, you know, like the Saw movies, things like that, you know, where you're up to goodness knows how many. Halloween, you know, all that kind of stuff, slasher movies, things like that. Uh, where there's a the, the ton of a ton of spin-offs and, and sequels and things. Um, host recommendation, that would be easy enough, I should think. Um, so yeah, plenty of stuff on there. Uh, we also, of course, have the square in the middle uh, in honour of PAX. Uh, that's just to read a book with green on the cover or the poster for the film. Uh, and in honour of Alice as well from Alice in the Giant Bookshelf, who we suddenly lost very recently. Um, and that is to read a cosy mystery with cats. I will look forward to that one. I've never read A Cozy Mystery with Cats and I, I'm up for that for sure. Um, so so yes, yeah, so there's your bingo card. Uh, again, we'll be doing, I'm sure people will be uh, coming up with ideas for all the various different prompts on there and, and suggestions of what you might want to read for it. 
Okay then, the third dimension is the decades. And the idea with this one is that you read trashy books from as many different decades as you can. So a lot of trash that we kind of talk about uh, is, is often from the, the sort of 70s, 80s, maybe into the 90s. It's the paperbacks from hell, or it's the men's adventure stuff, the Harlequin romances, things like that. There's a lot of trash, trashy stuff that's kind of come out of that era or those eras. Um, but there's plenty of stuff outside of that as well. So there's stuff going back to Victorian times, things like Penny Dreadfuls, for instance, and I'm sure there's stuff that goes back even further than that. Basically, as long as there's been literature, I'm pretty sure there's been trashy literature. Uh, and there is a ton of modern, contemporary trashy fiction out there as well. Trashy literature didn't shop, stop, stop being produced when we hit the 21st century. Um, and I will be doing a video on some of the sort of more modern contemporary titles that you might want to check out in the run up to August. Um, so if you need any ideas, I should be able to, you know, hopefully give you some suggestions on those. In fact, I am challenging myself uh, to get the vast majority of my Garb, Garb August reading material uh, within my current subscriptions. So that's Kindle Unlimited and um, Audible Plus. Uh, to avoid buying books for the event, otherwise I'll go a bit mad with the spending. Um, so I'll be covering some of the books that I kind of find in my research um, that you can access <coughs> digitally, both contemporary titles and also retro slash vintage stuff from Kindle and Audible, um, as well as from resources uh, like Project Gutenberg and Internet Archive, stuff like that. So keep your eyes peeled for that video in the coming weeks. Um, okay, what else have we got? It's busy this year. Um, oh yes, we've got Instagram prompts as well for any of you Instagrammers out there. I am not an Instagrammer, uh, but I know some people like really enjoy doing it. So here are some prompts for you if you wanna do the Instagram stuff. From the 1st to the 10th of August, uh, the prompt is TBR stack. Uh, the 11th to the 17th of August is a happy Garb August selfie. Um, the 18th to the 24th of August is a fav favourite trashy book or author. Uh, and the 25th to the 31st of August is your trashiest covers. Plus, you know, post the books that you're reading throughout the month using the hashtag GarbAugust3D. Um, so there you go, that's the Instagram. Uh, okay, then finally, um, one last thing, and that is, of course, uh, to mention that Garbology, the Garb August anthology of awesome trash, uh, is out on the 1st of August. This is the anthology put together by Criminoli and Troy Tradup. Contains th uh, stories from 34 writers, 10 artists from five countries across three continents. It's nearly 450 pages of gloriously trashy short stories. And you can pre-order it right now. Um, links to the pre-order for the ebooks uh, are live already and the link is in the description. Uh, I am very happy to say that I am one of those writers. My story Celestial Carnage is in there uh, and I'm so excited to see it in print alongside lots of other fab writers, several of whom are also fellow booktubers. So yeah, I can't wait for that to come out. Uh, and if you want to uh, want to have it in your possession ready to go on day one, uh, on the 1st of August when, when you can read it, check out the description for the uh, pre-order links. Uh, so that covers everything for now, I think. Uh, keep watching for more info on Garb August 3D coming very soon uh, from me and from all the other fabulously trashy hosts. As I say, links in the description to their channels. Do go check them out. Uh, it's going to be a fabulous month of trashy reading uh, and I do hope you'll join us in some capacity. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, folks. As always, uh, I will catch you soon with more Garb August content. Um, so from me, for now, that's to ra and stay trashy.